Welcome to Deep Thought. Everything is connected. This episode of Deep Thought is uh, sponsored by Social Fit Wellness. And the website is uh, going across the screen right there, soulwellness.com. Check them out. Check them out. They have a, a monthly membership and also drop in. You can drop in at any time. And they have yoga, Zumba. Um, they have holistic services, health coaching, uh, Thai massage, Reiki. They have a, a lot of good stuff, uh, particularly for someone who um, is into holistic living. And... That, that sex weighs into the subject of this particular episode. Everything is connected. That's what, whole, see, holistic, being holistic or looking at things holistic is not so much about uh, you're going to eat vegan or you're going to do yoga or you're going to get a special type of massage or meditate. That's a part of it, but really holistic means you're looking at the big picture and looking at how everything is connected. One of the mistakes that uh, I think a lot of people make, they don't see the connection between something that may happen on one side of the world with them. For example, um, a lot of people don't get that, um, you know, our cell phones are made by um, a a certain type of metal that's in the Congo and how that's affecting, um, you know, the problems over there. Or that, you know... uh, some type of change in government and maybe the Middle East or something could affect like our oil production. That's holistic. You got to look at every single aspect because the reality is the world is inter- interconnected. We're, we're in con- interconnected. You can't just say, oh, well, you know, that's not my problem. You can't look at something there. It might not be your immediate problem, but it might affect something. For example, you're thinking holistically. Like, say you have a small town, and they have, uh, you know, it's fairly prosperous. It's a fairly prosperous um, small town. And, you know, you have businesses, a lot of small businesses, and um, good good neighborhood. Um, economics are good. And then, but... And somebody might think, oh, yeah, this is great. But then someone looking at it holistically will say, okay, well, what's the major industry in that town? And it could be it could be a box-making factory. I'll use it that. They, they make cardboard for mailing materials, stuff like that. Uh, they actually manufacture it. And it's able to employ maybe 30% of the town's re- uh, residents. And because of that, look, follow the connection. Okay, so that's employing 30%, but then maybe another 50% of the residents make money indirectly off of it. Okay, say they have a nice size factory. All right, so you have restaurants near there who serve those people, who serve the workers and then, of course, the residents. You have grocery stores where the people who make money off their place, they spend in a grocery store. Um, you know, people got to buy cars, college, everything's connected. But the, the key piece there is the box making factory. The cardboard make, you know, cardboard design, you know, office. Yeah, just say box making factory. Y'all know what I'm saying. It could be anything, bicycles, cars, anything. Somebody looking at it holistically would understand that all of this is connected, but then say the factory leaves, boom, and you'll have what's happened across the uh, country when factories left. The area goes down because the main source of income, the, uh, the base, the foundation is no longer there. So someone would say, well, it don't matter to me. I don't, I, I work in this grocery store. I don't, I don't work at that box factory. Well, tough for them. They might even be arrogant about it. They'll say, hey, it's tough, it's tough for them, but what that got to do with me? I'm making my money. Well, hold up. The place closed, but then a year later, the grocery store might close. And you say, why is this affecting me? Because the people were taking the money they were making there and spending it with you. Boom. <laughs> Boom. It might not affect you right away, but it's still affecting you. You know, that's something that happened in Detroit. 
that's something that happened in Detroit. A lot of people point to it and they try to make it a racial thing and everything, but well, everything goes down to the auto factories leaving or reducing their force or, you know, becoming more and more automated. So that's everything. And that's just, that's just one thing holistic. That's, I mean, you got to look at the neighborhood you're living in. Okay, like uh, I mentioned probably on another channel, we got this new Sprouts that's near me. And Sprouts, yeah, usually those stores, they cater to, um, I'll just say, a higher class of people. You know, economically higher, you know, making more money. So I said, okay, they put a sprout around here. So I started paying attention to stuff. When they were, when I realized they were building, I say, hey, wait a minute, let me look at this neighborhood. And I started, they building a lot of homes in this neighborhood. They building a lot of homes. A lot of uh, younger people are moving around here. But it's also because of the, uh, there's a lot of money. And you have a lot of professionals. You have people in that 9.9% .9 of people. Not quite the 1%, but 9.9, .9, the, next, the next tier. And you have a lot of mothers, you know, they have young babies. they professional women, but usually when they have babies or children, they'll stay home with the babies for a long time and go back to work later. And their husbands are usually making enough money to uh, take care of everything. But it's like, oh, okay, so they got a high class. And plus, uh, when people in that 9.9, .9, one of the issues that they had, one of the things with them is that they're very health conscious. Like, also in this area, there's a lot of, uh, there are a lot of health clubs in this area. The health options around here are crazy. I mean, when I say crazy, it's like, there's so many gyms in a small area, and then a lot of studio shops have popped up, like cycling studios, little small things, a boxing gym. And I was just like, hmm, okay. But that's connected to the level, uh, the class of the people who are very big on fitness. So I was looking at it holistically, and I was like, in fact, uh, yeah, they juice bars, everything opening up. Or even having just a, sh uh, a store just that just sells running shoes. Just running shoes. It does very well, but, you know, exercise-minded people. But you see all that and how that's connected. Now... Would those, would those businesses make money or do anything if you had a different type? Because if you go uh, some neighborhoods over, you can't find a gym. You can't find anything. You just drive 20 minutes in either direct, any direction away from here, and you can't find any, any, any of the same things. But you understand that when you start looking at it holistically, that's something. Um, and just understand... That could be affected by some other factors I'm not, I'm not even thinking about. That could be affected. Because what if um, these people are primarily in some position? It could be some linchpin. I ain't sure where it is. Even if I did, I don't think I would put it out. But that could affect the salaries of uh, a significant amount of people around here. That would, that would affect the businesses as well. And I'm using a business example. Y'all know I'm business orientated, but... Everything's connected. Even the people, type of people, that's going to affect stuff. You know, that's that's going to affect stuff, even if it ain't so much the money thing. Because everything is connected. So a lot of times people think, oh, that doesn't affect me. Like one thing, um, there's been talk about a universal basic income. And that's because the people who actually own automation... They still need, they, their fortunes get affected if people still don't buy stuff. <laughs> now, they could say, yeah, we're going to automate, make this money, but you ain't going to make money if people don't uh, buy your product and they can't afford to buy your product. So everything is connected. See, when, when, that's one of the things that when someone becomes, uh, get a certain level of maturity, you start paying attention. Now, financially right now, oh, I'm doing very well. But I'm still paying attention to little stuff. It's like, okay. But I need people. Well, there's certain things. I ain't going to put it out there. But there's certain things I think I'll be all right, depending on, based on what I do. But even that could be affected. Because then people might say, hey, yeah, yeah, we still need that knowledge run, but uh, we ain't going to pay for it. We can't afford it. Boom. So just understand that. And, I, I mean, 
you know, just understand is being holistic and thinking that way goes way beyond just what you're doing with your body. It goes way beyond this life itself. So anyway, I want y'all to check out um, Social Fit Wellness. Once again, here's the website. And just wanna, um, want y'all to think about everything I was saying. So anyway, have a good day. Peace and many blessings.